Welcome everyone to day two of us being snowed in. I got a job for you to do before what? we breakfast. These have to go upstairs to your room. There's nowhere for them. Clark man was not kidding about his room. It is a giant mess and we're gonna be addressing this today. What are you doing? Oh, he's, he's just disappearing. We are gonna get this cleaned up today. I wanna welcome everyone to another day of remote learning kindergarten, the adventures of Greg and Clark. This is the Friday edition, last day before the weekend and we're creeping up on Christmas time. Oh, it's gonna be glorious. We gotta get you powered up. <laughs> Ready for the cleanup duty. You guys wanna see what a clean house looks like? Never before seen in here. Clark did some work upstairs too. And I cleaned this. What? Wow. We have a nice clean floor. I see floor? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So okay. We, so we got a new big dirt pack. You have to sometimes. Mm -hmm. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean up this stuff all around here like it, it i see what you did you kind of pushed everything to the sides mm -hmm. we're gonna make this look even better because we're gonna be doing something in here today that we need some space for and we uh -huh. need it to look nice it's a, related to tracks it is very much related to tracks here we have the clean room how amazing does this place look got the bed made mm -hmm. nothing on the shelves minecraft world it is what it is we got a nice little setup over here. We got the Christmas lights all on. I think that is much nicer. There's actually surface here. There's floor, there's not stuff everywhere. I mean, this is a little crazy over here, but you're a man of many trains. Mm -hmm. So I, there's not much you can do about it. But I think that looks pretty nice. And this should give us enough space here to do the thing that we're doing today. It's just about 9 a.m. So we should go down and try to get on to your school and see if we can get some work done before it actually starts. Mm -hmm. So everyone wants to be done early on a Friday, right? Mm -hmm. We'll be back up here in just a little bit. School is looking like an easy day today. We've got a morning meeting, no reading, and then a foundations lesson at one. I grew up by the sea where there are lots of fish to eat, answered Penguin. Where do you come from, Camel? Camel replied, I come from the dry and sandy desert. Which picture shows an animal that comes from the desert? Look at the words. Find the word go. Let's go home. You got 100%. Woo! Clark is now in math class. Freshly cleaned, as you can tell. While he's doing that, I want to show you guys what we're going to be getting into today. We've got a bit of a package to unbox today. This was sent to us a few months ago by this company called Lionel. You may have heard of them, especially if you're a fan of our channel. And there's a little sneak peek as to what's in there. But this was the reason that Clark man needed to have his room cleaned up because we're going to be getting into this today and making a video for you guys. That is if I can get out of here with it. Tight quarters back here, boys. Hey, Dad. Hey. It's over. You're done already? We're just chatting. Um, I have a math test to do. Okay. Why don't you do that math test real quick, and then we'll get into this. Mm -hmm. Do you know what's in here? You have to be back at 1 o'clock for another live session. Okay. I'll go up and get this unboxed. Mm -hmm. You do your math test, and uh, we'll do this as soon as you're done. But don't rush on your math test, okay? Okay. Before I crack into this, let me give you a little backstory on how I came to acquire this particular Lionel train. It was from an email that Lionel sent to me. Apparently they had seen one of our videos before that we did on the Big Thomas Lionel train, which I'll link up above here if you guys wanna watch that. I'm sure most of you have probably seen it because it's, I think, one of our most successful videos on the channel. And they offered to send us the Polar Express train for us to play with and review. Not even to review, they just wanted to send it to us. And I was like, yeah, that'd be awesome because obviously we love trains. You've seen this room. We cleaned up a giant train track that was in here. And this, I thought, could be a lot of fun for us to share with you guys. So I'm going to jump into it here and open this up so you guys can see what it looks like and for me to see what it looks like as well. I have yet to see it. So we'll crack into it. Hey, Clark, man, you're just in time. Take a look at this, dude. Too. The Polar Express. Uh -huh. Let's pull it out. Okay, let's Polar Express it out. <laughs> Dad joke. Rip him. There it is. Ooh, ooh. All right, let's take this off too. Factory sealed. Okay. Hey, can you turn the light on for me there, Mr. Man? He's running all over the place. Thank you. Are you giving me the vacuum? Oh my gosh. Look at that beauty. 
Look at that beauty. This is the Lionel Polar Express, of Look course. Look at that beauty train. I love it, man. Let's show the box off before we get too crazy here, because this thing's probably going to get shredded. There's some track configurations, Clark. He was wondering about what kind of tracks you could build with this. It's got Bluetooth with it as well. Dang. Okay, you can build that track. Possibly. Like this. I I think I think that's more professional stuff there, but inside here is the train and the track. And we're gonna jump into this. What I decided to do is I'm going to make this its own video, which will actually be out tomorrow, because most people that are gonna watch this video on this train, they really don't care about our lives. They don't wanna see Clark doing kindergarten. They don't care about us cleaning up this room. They just wanna see the train. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna warp ahead in just a second here for you, but a little bit longer for us. And uh, we'll show you the train when it's finished, but there'll be a full detailed video on it tomorrow. That'll give you something to look forward to. I love you, everyone. <laughs> what do you think, Clark, man? I like it. We got ourselves a Lionel Polar Express train. Better quality than I could have even imagined. This thing is amazing. It actually blows smoke. It lights up. It's incredible. The track quality, everything about this is awesome. Clark man's loving it. I'm loving it. Just like McDonald's. Look at this thing. I am king of the north. And it talks. It's got this controller here, and then bell. you got three buttons. So you got a bell. You got this. And this. And when he blows that, that's when the steam comes out. And it's really cool. What an amazing train, dude. Can we do a high speed test for that? Go ahead and do a high speed test for him. That's the high speed test. Gets a little crazy. There you go. And backwards. So that's what we had going on out here. And I just wrapped that video by saying we have another one that Lionel sent us. It's inside the closet here. And this one, I'm going to donate to Toys for Tots. So I just thought that'd be a nice way to pay it forward as you'll hear in tomorrow's video as well. My original plan was to actually wrap this video with us going and donating it, but as you guys know from yesterday's vlog, we are still snowed in and probably will be until tomorrow. So until then, we're just gonna go on a holding pattern until we're actually plowed out of here, which should be tomorrow, and then we'll take that over to the Toys for Tots donation location and send it out. From epic trains to epic nuggets, we're gonna have some chicken nuggets for lunch today. What is even happening right now? Did we show our table finally clean? Inspired by mom? Oh, I got the wrong pen. That's your stylus. <laughs> Where did that go? This is a little outrageous if you ask me. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> got him. Ruined him. Make him dance. Make him dance. Make him dance. Make him dance. Make him roll. Get him, Rox. Sick him. Sick. Sick him. Sick him. Worst dog ever. How do these look, buddy? Perfect soul. We got some horse meat and sour sauces. Oh, yeah. We are uh, maximizing our sweet and sour age, and we got some nice. fish fries. Snack age. Lunch is over. Back to train time, baby. <laughs> hey, no clerks allowed. It's my train time. <laughs> Where's my controller? Oh, there it is. Yes. No, I'm plugged. Oh, you gotta plug me in, bro. I will never plug you in. Plug me in, please. Slowest that I can make it go. That. That's the slowest I can make it go. That's it right there. I'm setting a speed record. There it is. That's a speed record right there. Blazing. 
Are you sure? <laughs> it's blazing to me, man. Hey. Did you run over my guy? <laughs> Following the person. Hey, leave him there. One. Aw. No, oh, this is great. <laughs> oh no! Why me? Following our train shenanigans, Clark Man has to go back into school. Final class of the day, of the week, and then the weekend starts. Hi, Clark. Cat. Man. Z. Zebra. Clark wrapped up school and we came out here and we just did an opening of some Christmas gifts that we got from our Lego friend Jim Blade. He sent us the Speed Champion set and some Hot Wheels, some Scentsies, and of course some Buddy Biscuits for Boo Bear, which she's already cracked into. And now we're going to get into the next thing of our day, which Clark has hiding back here. Mr. Ginger. We're going to make some gingerbread houses. We're going to make a little village. We picked this one specifically because it makes four houses, so we'll each be able to do one. And we have an extra one in case somebody's really goes wrong. Look at those. Look at my little sign out front. Yours is looking really and, awesome. And if we, there's like a little yellow bee behind there. I love it. And Christmas tree out there too. And we got- The roof is insane. Mom's still making hers. That's okay. She's finishing hers because she helped you with yours. I spent all my time making mine and I hope it shows, but <laughs> maybe not. I tried doing the snowflakes on the roof, which is debatable, but I have a wreath out there. I got the red door. Clark's door, is it's red. really interesting. Mine's red. I got snow outside. I put windows on the side of mine. And I have little lights on the side of my little house. And we got the Christmas colors on top. So red, green, red, green, red. I love yours, dude. Uh, really it's like Christmassy, right? So Yeah, yours is the candy shop. Mine's the sweet shop. I debated whether I should put my sign out in front or not. Um, Look at the, mine. My back is blank. Mine is too. I didn't want to do too much with the back. I just think it looks cool at the front. I, I think um, I was going to do two. my back. Maybe mine isn't done yet. Mom is doing hers here. Work in progress. We got to cut some music here because I'm probably going to get a copyright strike on this. But there is Mom's finished house. It's the chalet. Looking amazing. We've got the cross-hatched roof with all the lights and stuff all over it. Clarkman is still decorating his. He's put, I put some candy canes in the back and now he's he's adding stuff to those. But I think that's a solid turnout for our three houses, considering last year's was a bit of a, a bit of a disaster. There it is. That's our, that was, that was close. That could have fallen on him. But anyways, there you go guys. You're watching this on Christmas. I hope you have a Merry Christmas because these videos are published one week after they come out. And that's a wrap for us for today and for this week of Remote Learning Kindergarten, the adventures of Greg and Clark and the adventures in gingerbread house making.